Hello everybody, um, I'm just quickly introducing my makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I do have an old one, but um, this is my updated one. I don't, I don't have any more kind of substantial bits of makeup, but um, you will see the sort of storage. Again, I'm in no way bragging. I do not have to, f I don't feel like I have to say this to you guys because you know I'm not like that, but um, I'm in no way bragging and this is more to show you guys the sort of storage that I'm really, really pleased with because I feel like before my makeup was all like right there in your face, whereas now it's kind of away and it's sort of, I feel like a bit more comfortable with it and where it is. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, as always if you have any questions leave them below and please keep your requests for videos coming. I have absolutely no idea what to make anymore, um, I'm always in the mood to film but feel like I don't have anything to film so keep your requests coming below and um, yeah hope you all enjoy this. I said that like 10 times. <laughs> Bye. Okay so I will not be making an appearance at, at this bit of the video. The lighting is going to be really bad because I just have as you can see a light over here and just my bedroom light which is up there but um, these are my new cupboards. I basically got these because I need more space and more storage in my room before I had one cupboard. I will link my old bedroom tour um, down below the room tour in the description box. But um, I've got these two cupboards, then I have this one here, and then I have that one there. Um, those hold clothes, those hold clothes, and then this holds makeup and some clothes. Not that many, just more like trousers. And um, they're from Ikea, and they're the really, really high ones. And I think the doors were... I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't overly expensive. And um, this is amazing storage-wise, because I fit everything in. So I'm going to open this one, because this is where the makeup lies. And you can see this. So... Um, up there I just have my tripod case, a teddy bear that my mum got me for my birthday ages ago, some books and DVDs, um, not really too important, um, some kind of, what they called, toilet trees, the makeup that's held in these black trays, jewellery and some makeup and then trousers over there as you can see and leggings and things like that. I hope I'm not going to be too shaky in this video but um, we'll just have to see how this goes. So um, I showed you up there. And this is sort of my other toiletry stash. And um, and there are sort of glossy boxes and my nails chipped. Glossy boxes and boudoir privé boxes, as you can see right at the back there. That's my tr um, one of my little tripods. This is the sort of... I'll kind of come back to what this is actually in the bit. And then as you can see, there's just some bits and bobs that I use every single day. My deodorants, um, my favourite what's it called, um, hairspray, my favourite styling tool that I use when I'm blow drying my hair, my current moisturiser, Panoxyl eye cream that I got with um, Boudoir Privé, which I think broke me out on under my eye, which is really strange, macadamia oil, I actually, I actually hate the smell of this, um, I got this from Boudoir Privé, and oh my god, it smells like, like what granny would smell like, um, VO5 Miracle Concentrate. I use this Philip Kingsley thing, um, the elasticizer, and my hair today just wouldn't go sh like wouldn't stay straight. I don't know if it was because of that. Some um, lip stuff. I absolutely love that scrub from Waitrose. Hand cream. Well, I use it as a hand cream. It's the Body Butter Guava. Don't remember which box that came in. And then medication for my piercing, which sometimes gets a bit infected. And then my mirror from Tiger. Nail polishes in this box and. I think I got through everything there. So that's just my sort of cosmetics. It does not stay that nice looking, but I try to sort of neaten it up for you guys. And then we come to my makeup. Um, I'm going to talk firstly about these trays. And these are my jewellery trays. And as you can see, I have some blushes on here. I'm not going to go into the jewellery because I just think, well, I can show you, but I'm not going to go into it because I think this would be great for makeup as well because I think these are the... I don't know what they're discontinuing. I think they're discontinuing the whole thing. But um, as you can see, I've just got some jewellery in here. And these would be great for makeup as well if you can't find these above here. So this is what they look like. And I think they're great for blushes. Like the MAC blushes would fit amazingly in here. Because they're sort of, as you can see, like curved. Which is really, really great. So I have some natural collection blushes which I absolutely adore in here. Um, sort of peach Melbourne things and pink cloud. This Bare Minerals Warm Glow Powder thing that I'm scared to use because I think it breaks me out. Pearl Cream Colour Base, which I've had for so long and I still really love. I use it every day. All the Topshop blushes I have, Flush, Neon Rose, Nutmeg, 
they're all there. And then all my MAC blushes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Cubic, I think that is. Melba, which is always at the top, um, at the front. No, actually, Melba's in there because it's in my day makeup, sorry. I think that's Copper Tone. Then Well Dressed, probably. No, that's Well Dressed. And Peaches, which I really don't like because it's too orange. Harmony's there somewhere as well, which I'm not really using that much at the moment. So again, Ikea does amazing storage. Um, another thing I've seen people use is cutlery trays. So I love this because it's kind of compact. It's in my cupboard and no one really sees it and it's just over there. So no one can judge me on the amount of makeup I have. I'm going to start off with up here. And this is my first sort of tray. And as you can see, I hold all my perfumes at the back there. Here I have a perfume collection video, so I might link that below. The eye I can't speak. Ico cream, the highlighter cream thing. And just perfumes that I don't really tend to use. Because they're stashed away, I feel like I don't really know about them. But um, I'll show you guys some Burberry London, Harajuku, um, OISL, what you called Juicy Couture, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. There's loads there. And then these are my MAC eyeshadows, and um, again, this is all from Ikea, so in case you're wondering, this is all Ikea, but it basically comes with these dividers, I'm sorry, that is really dusty, because I don't use it, and um, you kind of divide everything, and I haven't fully divided this one because I wanted a little bit more space for my eyeshadows, but otherwise I think I can stack another one right here somewhere, yeah, I think I can stack another one here, so you could actually potentially have three, what is it called? Like, you could have another one here is what I'm trying to say, but I haven't done that. So what I have here is my contact lenses, because I am a contact lens wearer. My MUA shadows, which um, I've already broken the whole thing, so it's really, really messy. Sleek Divine palette, I don't know which one that is, and I don't really use it. My Naked palette, which I don't really use anymore that much. And then all my MAC eyeshadows, which... Um, I think I have a MAC eyeshadow video, so I will leave the link to that below, but there's basically like Patina, Texture over there, which is one of my favourites, Carbon, which is really old, um, Shroom, um, there's loads over here. I have some more over here, which um, didn't really fit there, and some Barry M, what are they called, pigments, which I really never, ever, ever use. So I'm kind of neglecting my MAC eyeshadows a little bit, but... Um, yeah, some of you guys might say, why don't you buy a palette, and I don't really like palettes, I kind of like having them all in their little eyeshadow form, that might change in the future, but for the moment I definitely just like to see them in their little pots, and I can find them really easily because I just have to sort of look down, and yeah, so that's those. I'm not going into too much detail, I just sort of want to show you guys the storage. And then this is my favourite box, which I'm so proud of because I absolutely love how this has turned out. Um, it's my dream storage system, to be honest with you, and I love it. And this is kind of organised because everything is in a little compartment, so obviously I'm going to talk you guys through the compartments. Okay, so back here is all my creams that I'm not really using at the moment. Like, because of obviously my skin has gone awry and has kind of gone crazy. Things like the Origins um, Vita Zing and what's this? This is my summer sunscreen, the La Roche Posay. I'm not using the Effect La M anymore because I was kind of breaking out and I don't really know what was going on, so I haven't really bought a new one. And also, every time I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. So that's another reason. I have loads of Aven. Oh, this is another La Roche Posay thing which I bought and is scented, so I can't even use it. Loads of the sort of little samples that we got with Glossy Box or Boudoir Privé, which I can't really use again because most of them are scented and I don't want to really make my skin go crazy or anything like that when it's kind of been behaving itself. So I have some Dermalogica things there, which hopefully I can use in the future. And then down here, I'm not sure if you guys are going to see, but these are sort of the foundations that I don't really use, like, ever. I don't really care for at all. And, like, Natural Collection, um, oh god, Bourgeois Healthy Mix, which breaks me out, Studio Fix Fluid, which is really, 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 really old. I mean, look how orange that looks. Well, against my skin tone, anyway. And I think it's kind of oxidised, to be honest. I think I need to sort of chuck it out. This is really old too. Um, Revlon Color Stay. That looks really disgusting. Um, yeah, I think I need to chuck that out. 
and just other like little samples of and other samples of foundation that I've been given and why is my hand shaking and I'm not really using then this is my like little lashes corner hopefully you can see well I'm gonna just bring them out so loads of lashes um, and a primer which I didn't really have space for I used to use this like crazy and those nail rock things but I didn't get this with them um, these are the old design where you had to like dry it with a hair dryer um, I got these really like such a long time ago and nail rock actually contacted me which was really cool but um, that was like right at the beginning of my YouTube and then again like loads of lashes I don't know what these are so that's my little lashes corner then I have a sort of lip gloss and lipsticks corner that I don't really why am I saying corner compartment I like that word that I don't really use and um, I really like having this sort of sellotape to use when I'm doing a smoky eye that I want to be really really precise so that's kind of there for that um, I have a tutorial that's really old that I might link below that I actually use this. I actually really like that tutorial, um, so I'll just link it below. So um, lip glosses that I don't really use, like Clinique. Um, I don't know, they're not things that I kind of reach for every day is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, Benetint. Then some um, Revlon eyeshadows that I was sent ages ago. And they sort of live here. And... Um, Again, I don't really reach for them every day. I sometimes have a look in this. Then this, um, what's it called? May Couture, Couture thing that we were sent, I think, with Boudoir Privé. I'm really bad. Some more kind of skincare that kind of fell out. This is the Effect Clarquet, which I don't really know what it does for me, to be honest. I don't even think it does anything. And um, some Back to Max. So I have to Back to Max that. I don't know why my hand's shaking. And yeah, these are all kind of Back to Max things and some primers that I'm not really using um eye bright I don't know why that's there then we come on to here this is um white face paint that I bought for Halloween a year ago because I was gonna do something for Halloween and then never really ended up doing it anyway um and some studio liners and concealer this is this is quite old too NC20 and the bourgeois white eyeshadow that I really like and I sometimes reach for it but I'm going through a highlighter cream highlighter phase at the moment powders that I don't use anymore Clinique which I hate I used to just use the mirror to that this I think is breaking me out at the moment the bourgeois what's it called what are you called chocolate bronzer and this is really old the dazzle the dazzle what are you called natural dazzle and the Laura Mercier powder translucent one which broke me out like absolutely crazy this comes to like my little foundations that I actually do really like and that I would actually use. So um, Estee Lauder Double Wear that I use at night. Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which um, I've actually mixed with this before. A concealer, photo ready, Makeup Forever HD, which um, I'm not sure if it breaks me out, but I love it, so whatever. I use it every once in a while. And then, and then these are my lipsticks. I actually think I have a lot more lipsticks than I think I have. Love this Essence lip gloss if you can get a hold of it. As you can see there. A MAC lipstick that I don't really use. And um, this is from Revlon. That's from Maybelline. I really like the smell of them. They smell like grandma lipsticks. But the colour's horrific. Gosh darling, which I've had for too long. Um, Natural Collection lipsticks, which I really like. This I'm actually wearing. Cream Puff by Collection 2000. But I kind of think it makes me get those little white bits around my lips, which I don't like. And these are my everyday lipsticks that I would actually genuinely reach for. Um, I say I say I would, but um, infrared by Topshop, which I absolutely love. Seventeen. I always say this wrong. Every single time I say it, I say it wrong. Seventeen beehive lipstick. There we go. Um, I normally keep some of them in my bag, but um, I was having a bit of a clear out. This I love. This I'm going to ask for another one for Christmas. There's like Hue lipstick in there, Viva Glam, like the Viva Glam lipsticks. So that's all there. And then this is my everyday sort of face and eye drawer. So I have um, eye curl, this is Teddy. And this liner from Collection 2000 because the one I got from Boudoir Privé, what was it, Glossy Box? I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, dried out already. Smolder, Natural Collection, Concealer in Medium 3, um, MAC Bronzer, I don't remember what it's called. HD Brow Powder, which I would never go without. I absolutely love this. 
two Laura Mercier's because I don't know why to be honest. Um, absolutely love my Estee Lauder base. I use this every single day. And Melba Blush by MAC is down there. And um, Sleek Ink Pot in Dominatrix is over there. So that's my makeup. And I'm really, really happy with this. I cannot recommend this enough. Just because it's so compact and you can just kind of really easily just in the morning I go to this and then go to my makeup table which is behind me and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you can't find this because I do know they're discontinuing it then go for something like kitchen fork and knife cutlery trays and it's the sort of the same sort of thing okay I'm gonna go now see you guys bye